There is a lot of really depressing news that's reported that can very easily make you lose your faith in humanity. If you find yourself in that situation, I have a perfect book. It is called We Die Alone. and It is a true story of a man named Jan Balsrud and his survival story during World War II. And yes, it is 100% ridiculous that I'm talking to you about restoring your faith in humanity with a book called We Die Alone, but I digress. So my goal here is to not include any spoilers about what actually happened during his struggle for survival, but just kind of to set the story up, show you what situation he was in, and also to give the impression of how it's a on the edge of your seat, page turning sort of book that you just kind of devour in just one sitting, couple sittings. It's a pretty easy book to devour. The story follows Jan Balsrud. He is a commando in the Norwegian army. He's with a group of about eight other people and their plan is to sneak back into their country by boat and during the summer to train and also gather a bunch of people for the resistance and eventually to do a secret attack on a German airbase. The success of their mission depends largely on people who are already in Norway who are willing to help them. So before they even begin their mission, they are given a list and it has names of people who have signed up to help. So they choose a name off their list and to their surprise, when they go and they talk to this man, they find out that he is the wrong man. So this man that they talk to he had the same name as the person on the list, but he wasn't the person on the list. He wasn't working with the Germans, but he also hadn't signed up to help the Norwegians. The man that they talked to became really concerned that this was in fact a test and that the Germans had sent Jan to talk with him to figure out where his loyalties were. And he understandably became very concerned that his safety was jeopardized. He talked to a number of people trying to figure out if it was a test, if it wasn't a test, and they really couldn't come to any kind of conclusion. So after staying up all night, he made the really, really difficult decision. And I can only imagine that he was haunted by this for the rest of his life. He reported them to the Germans. And that's essentially where Jan's story of survival begins. As much as I wanna keep going and give you guys more details, I'm gonna stop myself there because I want you to be able to discover all of this for yourself and read about this absolutely insane survival story. I honestly don't know how he got out of there, but I do know that he did it with a lot of help from a lot of different people. And that's the thing that I think is so inspiring about this story and that restores my faith in humanity. There were so many people along the way who had to put themselves in danger and endanger their loved ones as well and they gave up so much to get this done and they did it they got him to safety and if this had been fiction i would have rated the book pretty low because i would have thought that the author went overboard with all the things that he went through but it isn't fiction and he really did go through these things and i hope that you decide to pick this book up and i hope that you enjoy it as much as i did i gave it five stars and i am in awe of jan and i'm also in awe of all the people who helped him and i often wonder when i read books like this what i would do in such a situation would i put myself in harm's way would i risk the safety of myself and of others. And I always hope that I would choose to help people, but I think that you never really know until you're in the situation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jillian and I will see you in the next one.